the real difficulty at the moment uh, and, and what is most worrying uh, is that we haven't had contact uh, with Prince for some time uh, since uh, we received the videos which have now been handed over to uh, the UN uh, and we are, are most concerned about her situation at the moment whether she's safe alive uh, and that's why we're asking the UN and, and all governments to intervene as rapidly as possible to secure her well-being. The United Nations uh, has direct access to the UAE authorities as one of the member states, uh, they should immediately look to contact them, have the necessary meetings to sort this out and, and resolve it and make sure we know where the princess is, that she can be released and that she, she's able to, to travel. Uh, so that direct route through the United Nations that is responsible for upholding international law and, and human rights must be pursued immediately. Uh, and we're most grateful that the UN has said that they will take those steps now. Governments can also uh, ensure that, that they support uh, that action. I mean, the UN, after all, is made up of, of our governments uh, and they should support the UN, but also look to take their own actions. Uh, many of them have close relations with the UAE authorities through trade and, and, and other reasons, and that they should use their influence uh, to ensure that this uh, situation is resolved as rapidly as possible. Uh, if necessary, they can also take steps to ensure that that happens through the imposition of sanctions. Uh, let's hope it doesn't have to come to that, but, but, but that should be used if we don't get any movement very soon. It is disappointing that it's taken this long, but it's never too late. And now is the time to act and it can be sorted out now. And we must put the past behind us and, and just get the situation resolved right now to make sure that this person's life can be saved and that she, she can be released. Uh, and it should be turned into something that can be positive for, for everyone. There, there's no need for anyone to have to be embarrassed or take a step back. Uh, the, the, this should be something that everyone works together to resolve so that, you know, particularly for the princess, her interests are protected, but, but it can serve everyone's interest to not let this go on any longer. To do the, the, the right thing, which, which it, it would be to, to release her now uh, and to allow her to travel if, if, if she, she wants, uh, can never be seen as a bad thing or, or an embarrassing thing. It, it can only be seen as something positive for, for all involved. Uh, and, and we would urge the authorities there not to in any way try and sidestep this any longer, rather confront it, let's work it out constructively uh, and, and make it something that is beneficial for, for everyone. Uh, so so now's the time to, to not hesitate uh, any longer and, and make sure that there is a, a very strong signal sent out that, that lives matter, human rights matter, uh, and that this is the most important thing. It needn't disrupt anything in terms of relations between countries, trade, and you know, no one is saying those things should be jeopardized, but we've got to respect human rights. Otherwise, you know, what, what, what is it all really worth?